sometimes you are in a wilderness and don't know why. Oh my gosh. So, um, y'all know I got married and soon thereafter I got pregnant with our son and that we broke up. We broke up while I was pregnant, like really when I first found out I was pregnant. We had broken up. So anyway, that was like a really tough situation to go through, but I'm so thankful that I did. At first, I didn't know like what the heck I'm like. Okay, God. We ain't got this thing straight, God. Like, we got to figure this out. It's like, I'm so lost right now. I don't know what's going on. And the only person that I really had to turn to was God. And that's why I'm so thankful for like that divorce for that whole situation because it taught me not to be so dependent on anybody but God because God is the only one that can get you through things and by me going through that I've learned so much more about myself I've grown closer to God I've grown to be a better parent I've just grown as a person just I've just grown and I'm just so thankful for that because there were so many learning experiences in that and ever since i've gone through that i'm able to help others that may be going through something similar or if i can just relate i can be a listening ear i just now i know how to expect pain and i know how to deal with it and manage it if jesus did not suffer salvation could not spread forward you have to trust god in the tight places it is a setup for greatness you just have to trust them like when you're going through something trust them that when you come out on the other end of it there's a purpose like god is setting you up god is grooming you god is vetting you to be the best version of you you can be he is vetting you for that blessing and god won't give you blessings that you aren't ready for god has to see that you trust him god has to see that you are able to handle it God has to really see your heart and know your heart before he blesses you with certain things. So you just have to trust him in the process. The process is hard. I know I get it. The process is hard. But you just have to trust him. Sometimes victory doesn't look like victory. That is so true. Because when I was first going through my divorce, that didn't look like victory. But it was. I came out winning in the end because God saved me from something and someone that could not elevate me nor get me closer to God nor be the best person that I could be. I wouldn't be where I am today with everything that I have if I would have stayed in that marriage. Granted, as of today, the divorce isn't final yet. Like we're still going through the divorce. But, you know, you're married before you even get the ring. You're divorced before you even sign the divorce paper. So, that's how I see. But me going through that, it was just, it's kind of like a testimony. Because sometimes God will knock you all the way down just so he can bring you up even higher. And it'll be a beautiful story. It'll be a beautiful testimony. It'll be something beautiful you can share with people. It's just so amazing like y'all y'all just gonna know it's so amazing it is not a trap it is triumph amen you are not trapped the devil is and that's the problem too the devil tries his heart hardest to get to you and the devil will see me i i've come to realize that the devil attacks me through people the devil attacks me through people i'm gonna let that say the devil attacks me through people. I don't know how the devil attacks you. He may attack you through your finances, through, I don't know. But the devil attacks me through people. And sometimes I fail the test. I will say that, like, sometimes I don't always behave in a godly manner. But that's how I know God is working on me. Because, like, ooh, I'm just saying. The sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed. And that's kind of where my notes end one, the thirst trap sermon. That just, that was really something. It was really good for me to go back and refresh myself on those notes. Because at the end of the day, you have to be thirsty for God. You have to be hungry for Him. 
And once you get in that mindset and get that attitude that God is all you need and he is the only one that you really should be longing for, nothing that goes on in your life is really going to affect you. You're just going to just take it like, okay, God, I know I'm going to get through this. I know you got me. You got my back. So we good. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will link the video to that sermon in my description. Follow me on social media. I will link all of those in the description as well. And I will see y'all again for another Let's Talk God series. Not series, but Let's Talk God video. Yeah. <laughs> I will see y'all for another Let's Talk God video. So just let me know if y'all like this video and we can just kind of keep going from there. Well, I'm going to keep going anyway everybody right but it's just so much in here it's so much good stuff and yeah